When I first came to BCU to study fashion design, I felt quite confident in my skills and thought I'd be one of those students that gets the best grades in the year. It did dawn on me quite quickly, however, that there was many other students equally as talented, if not more so. And I think I kind of allowed this to knock my confidence a little bit. But still, I decided to always put my best foot forward when it came to trying out new things on the course. I started putting all my efforts into learning new skills and trying to expand my knowledge in all areas of sewing, design and research. Through my experience on the course I did find it quite difficult to develop my design ideas and I often struggled on the final realisation process. This was usually quite frustrating for me, however it was always a challenge that I had to overcome and that is what I constantly work towards with every module that I had. It was actually during my time on the course that I learned that I thoroughly enjoyed working digitally. Whether this was creating mood boards, digital fashion illustrations or editing photo shoots or design content. I took every opportunity to expand my knowledge on software such as Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign and became comfortable in producing work on these platforms as well as helping others learn the software too which kind of gave me the idea that I may want to go into teaching in the future. I always knew that I was a quick learner and that when I enjoyed something I was easily able to dedicate my time to it and there was definitely things that I preferred doing compared to other topics on the course. I found that I was more technical when it came to drawing but also struggled with being a bit of a perfectionist when it came to my work. I was often told that I needed to loosen up when it came to designing and to sketch a bit more roughly, however I always found that I came back to my fine line drawings in the end. It was during my time on the course I became a bit conflicted as to whether fashion design was the path I wanted to take. There were so many elements of fashion design that I enjoyed but I felt there was also parts of the process that I lacked a lot of enthusiasm for. I decided that after completing my second year I was going to take a gap year and defer just to allow me to develop my thoughts and come to a better understanding of what it is I wanted to do in the future and the path I needed to take to get to there. During my year off, I decided to have a break from everything that was fashion, fashion design and creative related. I worked in an office for a year doing admin and it really wasn't my dream job. However, having felt creatively drained and having a complete artist block, the change of environment and work was a real positive effect towards clearing my head and also allowing me to find passion in creative work again. When it came to deciding if I was going back to university to study for my final year, I felt a slight panic as reality had really started to hit home that fashion design was not the course that I wanted to study anymore. But not wanting to quit there and then, I reached out to tutors from the course to ask for advice on what I could do. And this is when I was actually put into contact with Claire, who was the course leader of uh, fashion branding and communication. After initial introductions and having a conversation with Claire about my passions and where I wanted to go with my future, I was welcomed with open arms onto fashion branding and communication. I felt a really overwhelming sense of relief and excitement finding out that I could complete my third year on this course as I felt this was a much better fit for my skill set and the career prospects that I had. I was also really worried that I would have to start a new course all the way over again. I've kind of always classed myself as a bit of a jack of all trades and originally kind of saw this as a negative uh, just because I always struggled to find something that I could specialise in. But after getting onto the course and attending lectures, 
I realised that the career path I was destined for was a creative director, a job where I could really express myself in many creative mediums and not having any limitations to my creative outputs. Amidst all this positivity, I did still however struggle initially with my confidence when it came to producing work and the expected outcomes. However, I began to realise that I had overwhelming support from tutors who really believed in me and made me realise that I did have the abilities and the skills required and they just really reinstalled that confidence in myself that I was able to produce work to a really high standard. During this year that I've spent on the course, I was really able to hone my skills into more well-rounded job skills and learn how I could apply these to exciting and creative briefs. Whilst working on my independent final project, I came to the realisation that I wanted to not only be a creative director, but also an innovator and an entrepreneur, to use my skills and passions for education to expand the fashion industry into a more accessible environment. This is where Beholder was born. It's a real project of passion for me and it's going to be something that's going to be an ongoing research topic and something for me to focus on and develop further in the future. It was the first real project that I felt truly passionate and excited about to the point where I'm still excited about it today and I think I'll always be excited about it. It also has really helped shape my future um, ideas and the career path that I want to take. Beholder really set off a whirlwind of ideas of what I wanted to do in my future and where I was going to take it. Through discussing the idea with my tutors, I came to the realisation that what I started out as my independent final project was really just the beginning of a much larger branding and research opportunity. This is where I kind of began making plans of how I could execute this and the best way possible to begin shaping this as a business idea and really the path that I was going to take in my future. Through discussion of Beholder and where I was going to take it, I was recommended to look into doing a master's so that I could continue my research on it with the help of academic tutelage. One of the courses that was recommended to me was a master's in creativity making and innovation. Uh, I researched the course quite a lot and it was very clear that it was somewhere I needed to be really to continue working on Beholder. So I reached out to the course leader, Mark, to introduce myself and show my interest and share the ideas that I had and I went ahead and I applied for the course. After reaching out to Mark, I was actually lucky enough to be able to speak to Mark one-on-one -on -one, and we had a real in-depth conversation about my work and passions I had and where I wanted to take things if I was to join his course and it was actually through having that conversation that I was actually quite lucky enough to be offered a place on the Masters uh, which just built further confidence in the work of what I was doing and where it could take me in the future. Although Beholder is very much a key factor in what I want to do in my future, it isn't the only ambition I have. I am still very keen and interested in being able to use my skills and experiences to teach future generations of designers and creatives. So it was definitely something that I wanted to carry on trying to pursue whilst working on Beholder and potentially becoming a lecturer. Because of this ambition that I have to become a teacher, I do have plans to pursue a PhD after my Masters. Not only to continue working on Beholder so that I can 
elevate it even further in making it more of a product, but to also gain experience and knowledge in discovering what it takes to become a teacher. My plans are to hopefully be able to guest lecture or be a lecturer at a university where I can share my skills and experiences with the future generation of designers and creatives. Through all of the experiences that I've had this last year, I will have to say that I have gained a lot of confidence now in my academic future, but also in the career prospects that I might have in the future. It is definitely an exciting adventure that I am currently on, which I'm so happy to be on, and I am forever grateful for the people that have helped me get to where I am today, and obviously I'll be always be grateful to those people that will help me in the future too.